Hello everyone, it's John again, and we're back inside the toy room. And, you know, I don't really have a lead-in today. We're going to be talking about the vampire from Mask. He's a character on the Venom side, with Floyd Malloy as the driver. But I wanted to talk about these things real quick. So yesterday on the live stream that I was doing with Mark and Matt, Matt of Universal Collector and Mark of Blue Harvest Star Wars Vintage Toy Podcast, um... We talked about these acry acrylics. We talked about acrylics and how expensive they were. And I mentioned these cubes that you can buy at a any um, like hobby shop that does framing, like like Michaels or Hobby Land, I think it's called, or uh, Joanne Fabrics, any of those kind of things. There are these acrylic cube. Uh, they're basically for there's a there's a there's a square piece of paper, a cubed paper, normally inside these. And they're for putting a picture on all six sides of the cube. So you can actually just take these apart and use them as acrylic stands. They work great for all sized figures. You can even put small ones inside, like this guy. And uh, they work with Black Series 6 inch Marvel Legends, 3 and 3 quarter inch figures, as you can see here. And you can stack them up and arrange them in any kind of way that you want. And the best thing about it is they cost around a dollar fifty, maybe a dollar ninety, depending on your location, where you are in the country, what store you're going to. And you can, uh, like I said, they come apart, so you get two stands for that one low price. And um, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying acrylic that's purposely made for those that purpose <laughs> all right we're going on to the vampire here from mask with floyd Beloy, and he's already falling out of his chair while we're transforming it from motorcycle to jet plane kind of thing i don't think he's supposed to sit this way i'm gonna have to like adjust it here because i don't i have a feeling when you transform to this mode he sits differently than the motorcycle mode so we'll have to mess around because his legs don't quite go down in the above the over the engine there. They don't work. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna have to experiment with this because like I'm gonna fly around with him. Look at these missiles. Shoot the missiles out. That's pretty cool. I actually really like this one. I think Floyd Malloy looks kind of cool. He's a neat little character. This thing, this motorcycle slash jet plane thing, is really cool. Two missile bombs that pop out pretty easy there, as you can see. The gun turret in the front spins. Floyd Malloy looks cool. His helmet is named Buckshot. He's got all the standard movement, head, arms, legs move, and the knees bend. Look at the scowl. He's got this cool little camera thing. He's got a scowl, blonde hair, some kind of straps and belts on him. His outfit looks really cool. The red and black really pops. I think that's pretty neat. With some silver trim. He's got spiky gloves or like gauntlets, whatever you call them. The mask is pretty cool. Buckshot. It um, It's the second edition version because you can see it coming way down there. So you know that's the second edition because this is... I think this was a Series 1 figure, 1985. I like how his hair pops out the top. It might be a second wave, so second wave all had that kind of helmet, so it might be a second wave figure. He's got, yeah, like I said, spiked gauntlets, like, was that Kerry King? Kerry King of Slayer had spiked gauntlets, didn't he? They were large nails on his gauntlets. I think his name was Kerry King, right? That's gotta be. Slayer, all you Slayer fans, let me know if I got his name right. So Floyd Malloy copied Kerry King from Slayer. <laughs> let's do a 360 roundabout here with his helmet on and then we'll pop the helmet off and keep going but Floyd Malloy buckshot helmet pretty cool I think he was series 2 actually come to think of it oh that's gonna bug me I'm gonna look it up yeah yeah okay yep I looked it up quick he is series 2 1986 then and uh he did not have a smaller helmet then, because by 1986, all the helmets had the extra bits. So this is how it was all along. He never had a short 
shorty helmet, a little dinky helmet. So, Floyd Malloy, scowling at you. Mask will be right back after these messages. <laughs> I wonder who that, I want to know who that character was. I forget who that, I remember that voice distinctly with the cartoons. Mask will be right back after these messages. And I, I know it was a Venom character. I gotta, I gotta watch the cartoon again and remind myself who that was. Was it? It wasn't the jackhammer guy because he was kind of dumb. It could have been the guy from the Piranha. Yeah, which would have been Sly Rax, right? Sly Rax had the Piranha. Yeah, the gun there turns. I just want. I didn't show you that before, so I, I mentioned it, but I didn't show it. So I wanted to make sure I showed you that. And there you go. See, I put his legs up. I figured it out. I think he put his legs up and tuck them down. And then he, he can sit close and actually put his arms on the gun. And there's this little V wedge that fits right between his legs. So it looks like it's purposely made for him to have his feet straight out rather than going down over the engine block. Because then that, that kind of bends his legs in weird positions and it might break him eventually. So I think maybe their intention was for him to sit this way. Um, I don't have instructions or a box for this one, so I can't really verify. But this seems to make the most sense. And he stays on better. You can fly around with him on, like, remember in the beginning he was falling off? Well, now he can take off for adventure and zoom all over the place, and he stays put. So I think this is how he's supposed to go. Yeah, I'm going to say that now. I'm going to tell everyone this is how you're supposed to put him when he's in jet plane mode. What do we call it? Now we can fold it up. And let's see if we can make him land. Oh, we got to push this thing. I can't do it one-handed. Okay, we're going to have to put the camera back on the tripod. Hold on. Here we go. All right, there we go. So I can hang on to the engine block, push this little lever back here, and the wheels should pop. Up. Oh, I'm breaking my legs. Ah, <laughs> I guess we can't do that. <laughs> he's got to go back into motorcycle sit mode and then we can push this thing and the wings go down the top flaps up and he falls off again oh boy so it's not as smooth a transaction as i was hoping for i was hoping he could just like fly down and land on his motorcycle you know but i guess you got to change his position a little bit to make it work eh, i don't know eh, i don't know it's kind of like the gator where you can't pop it out or put it back in with the guy in there. Because his helmet gets in the way and hits the roof of the Jeep. <laughs> we saw Dusty Hayes get his head broken off the other day, like in the last video. It didn't really break off. I'm saying, like, if it was real life, he would have got smashed in his face, you know. <laughs> if Mask was real life, yeah. Yeah, we're okay. We're we're just fine here. We're all doing good. <laughs> uh, this is a cool little vehicle, don't you think? I think so. I really like it, actually. I, I think Floyd Malloy. Cool color scheme. You know, nice stickers on this one. You got cool missiles. Yeah, this is a pretty neat little motorcycle. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're hunting these down during the quarantine, I'm saying, you know, you should be able to find a complete one for less than 40 Somewhere in the 30 to $40 range. You should find a complete one. Look for those missiles. Those are the key part that seems to get lost the most. And the windshield. The black windshield seems to disappear. So um, check those two things when you're looking at them. Make sure they're all there. Um, but yeah, it's not. this one is not that crazy. Not that expensive. If you're looking for something to grab. And it's very, very cool. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm John. I'm out of here. Follow me on Twitter at Awesome Geek Show. Or check out at Favorite Star Wars Figs. And um, we can talk Star Wars there. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Alright guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Stay healthy, stay safe.